Hello, welcome to Scratch Theory Painting. In this video, we will be making a chair using mortise and tennis joint. Let's scratch today's topic. This kind of joint is pretty common in my opinion. Just today, I did more research on woodworking joint and I found that this joint is called mortise and tenon joint. I've been using this kind of joint for a while now and don't really know the name of it. But today I found out this part right here is the tenon and this part right here is called the mortise. And these are just pretty common joints in woodworking. But today I will show you how to 3D print these, how to model them and the tolerance you need for your 3D printed parts to fit. Just like this right here. It snapped fit in there and it will not fall off unless you really force it out. And if you really want this to stick in there just like woodworking, you will put glue inside of the mortise and then just push it in the tenon up here and you will get a really strong bond and this is so cool right you can make chairs like this so here's like some of the reason why you would kind of want these kind of joints for the leg the leg is so hard to take out for the legs and the top here and like a 3d printed chair like this if you just model the model like this and print out you will end up with many supports at the bottom here, you have a whole support down here. Even if you print on its side here, you will still have supports up in these legs up here. Yeah, I know there's many ways of doing it so that you want to have support. By printing like this, I can just make a 45 degree angle right here and it will definitely work. Maybe you can print it at a 45 degree angle like this. This might work, but sometimes if you do 45 degree angles, and I've been doing that for a while now, sometimes areas like this side right here or like areas like this side right here it doesn't tend to turn out pretty and you will know that it has some defects some sagging filament if your filament is not dry if your printed part is printing way too fast not enough cooling it will just sag and this joint right here is a really good way of doing it and another benefit of this is that if your 3d printer does not do multicolor you can print this in a different color, you can print this part in a different color, the legs in different colors, and you can combine all of them together and glue them if you really want a strong part. And I don't know, it's just a chair that I just dream of. Let me know in the comments below, should I make a full size human chair like this one using these kind of joints? Let me know in the comments below. But enough with that, let's go into Vision 360 and I'll show you how I mounted this chair and what kind of tolerance am I using to get this tight fit here. Oh, and by the way, I printed this using the Cobra 3, and the tolerance is really good. We are now in Fusion 360. This is not like a create from scratch tutorial. I'm just, I already made this model, so I'm just going to go through the timeline down here, explaining how I made this. So, of course, the first thing that I did is make a sketch right here. I make a sketch and just did a 50 by 50 square. Then I extrude this by about 15 millimeters because I'm connecting the leg and the back piece I need to make enough room for both of them and you will see why later then I made a sketch at the top here which is right here and I just offset from this corner by 10 millimeters and make a square down here then I extrude this part and now I have the back so I just extrude this part by 50 millimeters to create the back of the chair I made another sketch at the bottom here, which is these four square here. It's for the feet. So then I extrude all these feet and then I extrude all the legs here. And this was a little bit of mistakes because I really just need one of the leg and I later remove three of them, but I really just need to extrude one leg. Then I made another sketch on top of this block right here, which is this sketch right here. I offset from the side by about two millimeters and then I make a square here and this square right here is going to be my mortise and tenon joint. So the first thing I did was make a square right here. It's 10 millimeters by 5 millimeters and then I offset it by pressing O or you can use this tool offset up here. Offset this by 0.25 that's the first time I did and if your offset is inside of here you just need to put a negative in front of your number and it's gonna go to the outside at first I did a 0.25 offsets but that was way too loose so I came back to Fusion 360 and put the offset to negative 0.1 and that fits it perfectly I then extrude the block or the tenon to the back piece right here I'd extrude them by five millimeters and then i did the same thing for the leg right here i made a sketch down here offset by 2.4 by 2.4 on both sides and then just make a square 
and just offset it by negative 0.1 again and then i just mirror d square to this side and mirror both of them to down here once i did that i extrude them and I got this tenon joint right here. So I deleted all three other legs because if I don't do that, I need to repeat this three times. And there's a way that you can do so much faster by using the rectangular pattern and you will get four of them symmetrical, very nice in place. After I did all of this, I went back and hide all the body and now it's just the base. Then I went back and look at my sketch four and sketch five. And now I extrude both of the square so that I get the mortise for my base and and that happened in the next two extrusion and i got it now let me put everything back together and i'm gonna use this section analyst look at that we have 0.1 offset 0.1 offset from both sides and that fits perfectly and we are basically finished with our model of our mortise and tenon joint and now i just fill it on the sharp edge so that it just looks so much nicer and this is the final product that we get then i just send this over to a slicer slice it and then 3d print it out as you saw there making this thing was pretty simple it's just basically square shapes with a couple of fillets and offsets and you will get something like this in my opinion 3d printing is far superior than anything out there it's just my opinion compared to wood working compared to injection molding and just like stuff out there yeah it's not the strongest material but there are materials that is quite tough but in terms of creativity in terms of fast easy prototypes just stuff like this 3d printing is like the king of it wood working you will need many machines you will need the parts to be exact so that you won't screw it up and waste like a good piece of wood many stuff like that but 3d printing you can just quickly model them just print it out if it fail you just tweak a little bit 3d print it out again and then you get something like this this was the first part that i printed it was a base the first time i did was a offset of 0.25 that's like the common offset that i use all the time but for the cobra 3 the offset is 0.1 and it fits snugly so like i said i printed this part fail it doesn't stick here i'll show you look at this it doesn't even stick it's way too loose so i went back into my modeling software changed the dimension it takes less than 30 seconds send it to my 3d printer print it out less than 30 minutes i got a working part and just like that it's all finished it's just so amazing that'll be it for this video let me know in the comments down below what kind of things do you use this joints for and are you using this kind of joints leave a like on the video and if you found this video helpful subscribe to the channel and as always keep on 3d printing